What's going on, everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler here, and today we're only on the Darkest Hour mod. It's a, it's a Hearts of Iron 4 mod, and we're resuming our playthrough. And I think we only got to like 1936 last time. But if you're pumped for more... Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 1938, I think. Time to achieve yeah. socialism. No! No. No. No, 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 no. No, we're not... It, it won't... It was meant to have been... It, that, that, it even said, July 1st, socialism has been unachieved on the patch notes. But it, even, even, apparently, even, even, we're too powerful to stop socialism from being achieved. But anyway, look at this chonky boy. Bam. We got to 1938 in the end. I am pleased to know socialism has been achieved. No. I, I, should I just call that the video next time? Socialism has been achieved. Oh, <laughs> God. literally the first event. You, you got to be having a giraffe. That <laughs> I haven't scripted this. Oh man. Uh, Jesus. Uh, but this is the this is the situation. Um, as you can see, we are getting a bit chonky, and we're kind of preparing for. Oh God. Ugh. We're ending the Versailles uh, diktat. Yeah, there we go. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Is this actually socialism again? We've got eight days until we're informed about socialism. But it's okay. Oh, we can rebuild the Nibelwerk. I should probably do that. I've got the money. Although I am... Mm, let's just keep on building the Autobahn. Because then if we look, I've reduced unemployment to 1%. That's pretty good. Uh, we're only lacking 3,000 tanks and a few anti-tank. But the rest we kind of have a surplus of. And I've been going a bit ham on fighters and, and aircraft, I think. We've got 16. They've got between 4 and 8. 4 and 6. 2 and 4. 6 and 12. So this is the chonky boy we need to watch out for. Oh yeah, yeah, I was building the carriers. We have four carriers now. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But 1937, let's see. Let's actually get on back on back on track with our engineering and our radar research and all of that. Yes, there we go. I could get the armor train. I could also get some basic computing. Um, but I think for now, I do need to increase my uh, capacity for production efficiency and factory output. Yeah, let's start planning for Amsterdam. So are we still recruiting? Oh, I am still. Wait, what? 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 What panzers am I even bit? We've got bicycles in our panzer divisions. Interesting. Uh, I may turn off the news now, just so we stop getting that. Yeah, no more news. <laughs> no more socialism. Should I issue the currency? I may actually increase inflation a bit. To... I'm printing! Turn on the money printers! <laughs> it goes... America moment. Yep. Turn on the printers. Okay, we need more fighters. Let's start going on the production train for fighters. Export focus. I may go down to limited exports, actually, although the construction speed is nice. Acceptable taxation. What if I lowered taxes? Would people like me? Yeah. Low taxation. I can't change it. Low social spending? I can't change the social spending, and I've got massive spending on research and education you cannot replace massive spending so no lower taxes for you no enemy cipher being decrypted well let's focus on france shall we silly little french oh yes in nine in january 1940 we'll have our first outdated battleship cool you know me investing in my navy is probably not going to go as well as i thought it would we do have a lot of destroyers to hopefully screen to be like the casing of a sausage that's what we want our destroyers to be. The protective casing to protect our carrier sausages. I don't know if Matt will somehow put a picture of a sausage ship somehow that he's made with my face on it. I'm sure he could do that somehow. Oh, I'm actually losing money. Uh-oh. I've got to print the money. I've got to do the money printers again, haven't I? Issue currency. Here we go. We'll do a western defense zone. Oh, wow. Yes, let's spend money on land forts and what's this? Oh, yeah, we want forts there. And forts, uh, the guilt. Yeah, why not? Oh, I spent all the money, but then I print more. <laughs> this isn't going to come back to bite me in the buttocks, is it? Overprinting, debasing my currency won't result in inflation. <laughs> Who 
am I? Pal? <laughs> Do I, can I get better Cass? Ooh, uh, let's try and start researching the uh, Junker 87. The Heinkel. Yeah, the Junkers G87. Oh my giddly goo. Look how much military spending I'm... That's a lot of military spending. Let's form the anti comintern pact because we still got the event flashing. Socialism. I can issue currency again. I think I may have to. <laughs> oh, I can increase trade. Oh, give me the oil rights. <laughs> okay, so I've spent a load of money. So let's, let's just print more. <laughs> That's how to fix the economy, everyone. I can't believe it. I'm just I'm just role playing the USA in real life. Well, and Germany and everyone. Uh, do you know what? It shall remain in uh, Roman hands. Roman, Romanian, and then the question of Transylvania. There we go. Oh, uh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, Romania. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, that was a, that was a, that's horrific. I don't know if I can do that to Romania. Sorry, no, I'm not doing that. Um, okay, so forget about socialism. The question of Transylvania. So how did this how did this work in historical in a historical setting? Middle option. Oh, so it was Upper Transylvania. Okay, and then the question of Karovia. Was that given to Bulgaria or did that stay in the Romanian hands? I'll do it historically. I just don't really want to have Romania in a bit of a yes to Bulgaria. Oh my god. So Romania just gets absolutely screwed. But. <laughs> Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, but I need more money to bribe the other nations, right? I think. Or have I done that? Oh, I can invite... Yeah. And Italy wants to join. Sure. He does not look happy. The king does not look happy. My unemployment is half a percent. How do I get rid of the Great Depression? I shouldn't be depressed. Soviets want to start... Let the negotiations begin. Yes, the, Mol the Molotov Ribbentrop. How is the Great Depression still a thing? I've solved it. There's no, there's no unemployment. There's half a percent unemployment in the nation. It's done. It's over. Ah, we've signed the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Nice. I do need more planes. Um, I would also love to get more dock. I have 30 dockyards pumping out. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so many. Yet still, my navy is um, only that large. We're radar. The world shall know of our radar systems. Well, they hopefully they won't. But we're a few days away from being able to declare on um, Poland. And I think I might just go ahead straight away. Yeah, I'm going to do an early war. Here we go. The war is about to begin. How screwed am I? Let's find out. Only on Alex the Rebler. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess I should probably bring the tanks over. I haven't prepared for this. You know how when you watch meta players, everyone's like, oh, yeah, baby. Well, that's not happening here. Uh, however, they don't appear to have any armed forces or any decent ones. And I, I presume I'm going to have aerial superiority. Um, so Manstein can launch his offensive. And so can... Who are you? Erwin von Wildspen. Huh. Uh, I am a bit, uh, I am confusion. How do I see how much damage, is that it? Oh, no, 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 yes. I love Cass. Cass is king, baby. Uh, they have put up almost no real defense of their nation here. Look at that. 73 damage, 90, uh, it, uh, Cass. I'm just battle planning. I have done absolutely zero effort to encircle their units. They're retreating too quickly for me. They're just so good at retreating. But hold on. Let's trap their entire arm. Oh, they vanished. <laughs> um, 1,000 casualties against almost half a million. I think I might be okay at the mod. Uh, and how aren't they capitulated yet? That's another thing. Was I even on aggressive? No. How have they collapsed? Oh, whoa. You have nothing. Nothing to threaten me with. In fact, how many bits of equipment am I... It, I'm, I've probably lost most of it by attrition. I've lost a lot of small arms. So uh, we're going to lo be losing a lot of small... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Great news. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Gains cause. Gains cause. Gains cause. And acquire Polish assets. Okay. I could attack the Scapa Flow base. 
Yeah, let's attack Scapa Flow. I can deploy reserve armories. Ho ho ho! I'm sorry, the French didn't join the war. Disappointed. So that means I can probably knock out the British fleet, right? I don't know. I would like to take the Netherlands first. Hello, Mel! Your panzers will lead the way into the Netherlands. None shall stand in your path. Um, well, the Netherlands are, uh, are... No! Look at this jammy bastard. Okay, I guess I'll have to... Ow. Guarantee France, you little <laughs> them. Do it. Yeah, I can't declare war on them if the USA is going to join the war. Hey, my economy's fixed, though. Come on, France. You what? Oh, come on now. I was hoping for, like, an epic struggle here. Whereas I can just... I can I can walk over the Maginot. I'm going to see if they can actually get some units here first. Maybe I'll just go through Belgium instead and forget about the Netherlands for now. I want to make sure I beat them in the air properly first. I've only got 800 and they've got 1,800 fight. Where on earth did they get all of these fighters all of a sudden? Oh, they have all of their planes dedicated to that one air zone. Oh, the fools. No, 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 no. I didn't call you in, you Oh, you fools. Okay, fine. I'll call everyone in. Oh, look at the exchanges. They shoot down five and we shoot down 26. They're not going to have an air force left after this. Hold on, where the fuck are they going? Italy? Italy, go home. You're drunk. Where are they going? Italy! What? Can I take out Belgium without an air force? Uh, although, do they even have an air... Yeah, they still have an air force somehow. I don't have the air zone. Okay. Well, let's just do a blitz into Bel... Yeah, I, I think we're going to be okay in Belgium. Uh, they have one division on the border, so... Ah! What the fuck did he get in there? Uh, no, I, I'm commanding you, Rommel. Go around. And then I will reinforce... We've got to reinforce the line, haven't we? Uh, Alright. Send more. Send reinforcements into the breach. Am I going to beat the Soviets? With skill. Like the absolute warrior Chad that I am. And Cass. I'm uh, pretty much relying on Cass here. We made the breach. Go, 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 Rommel. Go, go, go. Seize the means of Belgians. I'm just doing this without supply. None of our troops have supply. The supply system on the Darkest Hour mod is, is, is really quite bad. This isn't going quite as smoothly as I had once uh, thought it might. Oh, we do have assault boats now, though, so we might be able to go across. Yes, that's helping. The assault boats were what we needed. Just keep them all pinned. We're probably going to take a few more casualties. Yeah, 38,000 now. The infantry, they've done it. They've pushed through. Go on, take Lil. The breach is widening. The Cass is helping. They may uh, redirect our air zones. Although I, st mm, I wonder. They're only five out of ten on the Maginot. So could, could this little fella, now just somehow? Oh come on now. If we actually breach the Maginot, I might wet my pants. I, well, I wouldn't actually, but you know what I mean. Don't rest on your laurels, there, sir. Did we take that airfield yet? Oh, we've actually pushed across the across the water. So do I have an airfield here that's available? Hello? I do. Another 200 planes. That means another 200 CAS is getting deployed. Oh my god, we broke the Maginot! <laughs> With infantry and CAS. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get some mine detectors on the go. I do like all the additional kind of technologies and stuff that they uh, get you there. Oh, France, you're in for a world of hurt. I mean, I think it's already over. We're almost... Oh, yeah, let's walk into Paris. So many French cities to take. So little time. We took, we've took. we taken 83,000 casualties in total here. Um, also, I am going to try and do a sea lion. I have so many carriers that I think I could probably risk doing a sea lion. I have five carriers now and 69 ships, so perfecto. Wow. This is very historical that the French have actually just completely collapsed and Italy's not doing anything. Marines. I think we should probably get some Marines now. Or do you want me to go ahead and get some freaking... Whoa, these paratrooper divisions are actually pretty darn freaking chonky. Okay. You want me to paradrop the UK? What do you reckon? Paradrop or naval invade? I leave it to you, chat. Oh, these are form Shaga divisions. These are like proper elites. The, pa the regular paratroopers are pretty... <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, we'll get our assault force assembled. So we're going to prepare. We will prepare. 
while I mop up what's left of the French resistance. There we go. Well, let's start doing that and obliterating any defences that the UK may be holding on to. <sighs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together and it's actually going pretty nicely? I'm going to start... Is that a thousand plan? Yeah, I'm going to start building a ton of freaking air, air bases here. <laughs> They're not going to know what hit them. That Lil, 2,000 planes in Lil. Here we go. We definitely need more fighters there. So that's just a lot of cas. Although I guess I could start port striking and naval striking rather than close air support for now. Uh, no, they can do everything. Okay, I'm going to send my navy down as this may decide if I can actually get my marines in, you know? Why can't I seem to engage with their navy? Oh! Uh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Stalin. I know you're achieving socialism, but I'm just very baffled that they're not trying to engage my navy. If they're on strike force and they have orders to engage... So if I put it also on strike force, like how do you engage a navy that doesn't want to engage? Fight me! Yeah, the Royal Navy at the moment is bravely running away. Okay, maybe I'll convoy raid. Start taking out their convoys. Whoa, okay, we had a naval battle. Uh, my <laughs> okay, it's not really a naval battle when we're just bombing them. <laughs> oh... They're losing destroyers. Like, I'm losing... Yeah, they're, they're, their navy's going to get absolutely annihilated. They're losing cruisers just from my cast. Oh, this is so tasty. They're not even daring to fight me. Cowards. This has gone far better than I ever thought it would do. And we're suffocating the British. Why is... Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about them. Hey, look. <laughs> the Luxembourgian division decided to just wander out. So I'm just wandering in. Bye. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they're losing destroyers. They're losing heavy cruisers. They're... Oh, oh! They lost a battle cruiser to... I lost 64 cast to that, though, to take out a battle cruiser. But it, that's okay, because I can get more. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of Junkers to take out a battleship. We took out a carrier, so they've lost a carrier. Lost a battleship, lost a battleship and a carrier. Oh! At last! Yeah, patrol and then strike force was pretty poggers. Wow. They just try and retreat straight away. I think we're good against their navy. I think they're just going to eventually lose more and more of it. We have a 100% intel. They only have 400 aeroplanes. They have 42 ships left. Oh, UK. Yeah. I'll take that. The power of the chomp. Carrier Germany is overpowered. Oh my giddly goo! Like we lo we lose seven, f we lose seven aircraft to two carriers, two battleships. Like that is just insanity. With six carriers and aerial superiority, of course. Like we're losing loads to anti-air. Like again, like we lose sixty. Oh, that's not great. Losing sixty-two Junkers. Uh, I'm gonna deploy these just now so we can get this going. Our new naval invasion task force. Who's gonna lead the Guderian? There you are. You can be under a new task group under the command of uh, Gerd. Anyway, let's sort out Heinz Guderian's uh, Sealand divisions. Where are you going to go from, buddy? We're going to go for Dover. Seize the castle. Right. This is the re this is the remnants of their navy. I mean, they don't have one now. I'm almost tempted to call in the USA so I can obliterate them. <laughs> oh, the Polish lost theirs too. So these are the elite paratrooper divisions. These are the best paratrooper divisions I think we can get. Apart from the Fliegers, which are just expendables. You can have the task of trying to seize London. That's more of a diversionary attack, but we will give you reinforcements. Nay no worry. There we go. So now we prepare. Oh, I only have four days of fuel left. I need fuel. Oh, I didn't even build these. I haven't been building these. Oh, I've been building the wrong effing things this whole time. I'm actually going to buy fuel from the Soviets for now. Just temporarily. Just temporarily, guys. I'm not boosting them too much. But then I think I'm actually going to be ready to land. They don't have a navy anymore. They're absolutely crippled. Are we ready? Da -da -da -da! Oh my god. We para dropped into London. What is wrong with the AI here? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that melt? Oh my god. Jeez. Hold on. Was that the... No, that wasn't the one. That was the Queen Elizabeth, the fast battleship. Where are they? The UK. Where is your army? They don't have one. Oh, buddy. We'll be home by Christmas. We may actually be home by Christmas if the... I ended the war before the end of 1939. Well, I guess Poland is um, being absorbed now. I I've defeated the Allies before the end of 39. I am a bit baffled by this. 
There we go. Huh? Oh, you cannot be having a... Oh, I should call in Italy. I'm so... An I, I hate Italy. You dickhead. I should have put on player-led peace conferences. I should know that by now. But the AI is always, like, super asinine. Well, we're getting Jamaica and the Bahamas. What a mess. What a absolute mess of a freaking... <sighs> Jesus. Nice. Shut up. Okay. Um, That has gone so much better than I could have ever asked for. So now I just prepare against this dude. So, why? Okay. 25 days to justify on the Soviets. Are they in the purge? They've got a great Soviet famine. Oh, dearie me. They're in a state, aren't they? Build the airfields. Cass will rain on their souls. Ah, no matter. They've declared it themselves. Okay, now pretty much most of the world is going to be united in did Finland? Finland pushed them. Let's go. Yeah! I called the state of Q8 as my ally. <laughs> okay, let's see where the uh, Soviet forces are. Let's just assign all of our aircraft and it can be auto-managed rather than me try and micro this stuff. Where, 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 where is their army? Should I be doing all of this with just infantry? I mean, I've only got three units of tanks, but I haven't really needed them. How many units do the Soviets have? Oh my giddy aunt. Yeah, they're really not prepared in January of 40 for this, are they? I think Stalin is still asleep. Yeah, because uh, we're having a, a doozy hit. Hey! That's cheating! Block their exit! <laughs> so, uh, how about uh, that socialism, eh, Stalin? Time to turn the event. I want to see you suffer. Yeah, let it let it pop up now. Let it pop up. I'm, I'm content because soon... You'll never be able to declare that event again. Well, I think this is going to be a slow war just because it takes a while to walk. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Don't you forget to go down to Sevastopol. Oh, they signed a peace with Finland. Maybe they'll actually have some divisions now. And let's go down to Baku. Um, I think we pretty much have domination every... Oh, they actually have some fighters, though. Good for them. It's not going to help them. Well, was there any resistance around... Mo they, they have a... They have resi... No, they didn't even defend Moscow. Yep. Just walk to Leningrad, mate. They've got nothing. They actually have some of their units here. And I think we'll send um, old Gerd to ready to invade the eastern seaboard. They're actually starting to hold me a little bit. Mainly because we have no <coughs> supply. I'm lacking 50,000 guns. Oh, that might be why we're being a bit less effective. Oh, they have no troops in the Caucasus. So we're just going to march and take the back owl. Oil fields? Baku oil fields, sorry, not Bakau. Stalin suffered a stroke. <laughs> what about that socialism, Stalin? Oh! Uh, Stalin died! Oh, now it's Molotov's in charge. Has socialism still been achieved? How? You're dead. I was hoping to take out the USA too, maybe, but I don't know. Shall I try and do that? At the same time, I'm trying to fight a war against the Soviets still. I'm going to wait till the Soviets are done. Okay, let's go and take Bessarabia. Because that's all victory points that we can take. Oh, just die. Because what is their stability in Warsaw? Their stability is 17%. Oh my days. Yeah, I think I'm going to conquer the Netherlands. I think that's all done. So they're all going back to... Yeah. So they are going back to the Netherlands. Where are we will declare war? Am I at war with the US? Oh, we are. Oh, I didn't even get my navy over there in time. Well, um, unleash the attack. Oh, here we go. To a thousand year. We've done it. Victory's achieved. This will likely cause the game to lag and freeze. Okay. Woo! Uh, white peace. I'm sorry. White peace? Bruh. Bruh. No. I mean... <laughs> the end of the war in the east. And that's the final time we'll have socialism. Okay, let's infiltrate America. We're going to Miami. Where's my navy? Show me my fleet. Show me my Giga Chad. Here we go. So we split. So you can patrol the eastern seaboard. Show yourselves. 
too cowardly to even try and engage. Look at Canada. Yes. 1812, baby. Is it the scary man? No. It's Mackenzie King. Oh, no. The paratroopers were encircled, yet they are still... Mo Go on then, mate. Walk to Chicago. I'm turning that event off. Socialism will no longer be achieved. We've done it. We've wiped out socialism. I don't care what any uh, any any of you else think. We've done it. Oh! Ooh. How do we? How do I see this? Oh! How do we? Uh, show me, please. Oh, they're just getting. I guess they're not on engage. Perhaps. Yeah, they're evading me. Oh, they're just losing ten convoys now because they refuse to engage me. Uh, but it looks like we're getting help from our allies now, and we've taken pretty much the entirety of the eastern seaboard. Like, I just wish they'd face me in battle, but they're too much of... They're, they're just cowards. Oh. Maybe they're not cowards, they're just um, incompetent. Fight me! <laughs> oh, the paratroopers. Yeah, take Jacksonville, then go all the way down to Miami. Oh, Tallahassee! Tala Pensacola. Mobile. Who comes up with some of these freaking names? Oh, yes, and um, relaunch our attacks from up here because they're starving right now. They're starving. You want to go to Winnipeg in spring? You'll starve. Oh, crap. We've already lost a battleship. Ooh, maybe the USA's Navy is not so, uh, dis so not such a massive disaster as what we thought. I mean, we took out one more battleship than theirs. There we go. Three battle, three U.S. battleships just taken out. Nice. Not our first catch of the day, but a very nice one. Fight me! Fight me! Please! Oh, I wanted another battle. I only, I've only lost like one battleship. All my carriers are still here. Is that two, four, six? I have eight, seven carriers just flopping around. We took out our carrier. We've taken out our battleship. This could be it. This could be the U.S. fleet going. Oh, they're trying to escape. We didn't lose a single ship in that engagement. They lost a battleship and a carrier. I'm starting to enjoy the Navy. Three years after they uh, <laughs> made the changes. Have you ever seen anything so glorious? Oh, I was hoping they would uh, send out their fleet again. But I guess they have they must have moved their fleet. Where would they have moved their fleet to? Probably the west coast. Cowards. Marines versus Marines fighting in the desert. Oh, ours was victorious and we've now taken Tucson. Why don't we try and go to San Diego and then Los Angeles? After we take Phoenix, Arizona. Oh yeah, baby. Why does Italy have so many points? How do they get that? Well, anyway, I'm taking control of some stuff. Italy, <coughs> off. I'm taking the oil. I did all the work. I get the Panama. Oh, for pity's sake. Who am I at war with now? Oh, <coughs> crap that. No, not bothering with that. Uh, uh... <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, I'm all, but then it all looks fine when it's like that, doesn't it? See, all good. So that was the um, the darkest hour mod. Oh, let me know if you enjoyed this two-part mini-series in the comments below, and I'll be back with more very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to Turquoise Zong, Ian Clark, Kim Eric, Richard Cruz, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Daniel Orr, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Onion Duck, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Bash for being champions of the Rambler cult here on YouTube. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!